Welcome to the Little Wood House. Today we're going to be making this beautiful walnut tiered tray. Let's begin. I first started by drawing a circle on a two inch piece of walnut and cutting it out with a jigsaw. I was right at the maximum thickness for the blade, but it worked well. This awesome piece of walnut was given to me by a friend from some leftover shop projects. And after cutting half of the circle, I decided to use the miter saw to cut most of the opposite side to prevent damaging it. This piece will become the second half of the tray. And then I finished the circle with the jigsaw and moved on to prepping the second tier of the tray. If you need to make a circle, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the center of the wood that you're going to be working with. I'm cutting part of this off so you'll see my center doesn't look normal, but my center's right here. So I used my punch and I got a little hole right here, okay? Then what I did is found exactly how much I needed since my protractor broke and I made my perfect diagram. I used my finger to hold this string in place because sometimes it'll come loose from the tape and then I just followed it around and got a perfect circle. Well, perfect enough for what I'm doing because I'm about to hit it with the lathe and that's not gonna matter. After cutting the second piece, I mounted the wood onto the lathe to give it a quick turn to remove those rough edges. In all of my excitement, I knew I forgot something. So I had to take it back off the lathe and install the woodworm screw. This will make the whole process a lot easier. Once it was reinstalled, the process was slow yet easier. I began shaping the trays into the shapes that I was looking for. So I won't bore you with the entire process, but here are a few of the highlights. And then I used the chuck to grab the tenon so that I could now turn the inside of the tray. I also curved the bottom edges to give it a smoother corners. This is definitely a dirty process and I had walnut shavings everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Once the tray was shaped, I used a couple different grits of sandpaper to smooth out all my turning marks. Now to remove the tenon from the bottom of the tray. I used a pull saw to cut the majority of it off. This was a little more consuming than I expected. Well, maybe a lot more consuming than I expected. I won! Yes! Whew. I then used the belt sander to remove the rest of the tenon and I flattened out the entire bottom of the tray. And once the bottom of the tray was complete, I had to repeat the whole process for the top half. It was definitely a slow process, but I enjoyed the time in the shop as always. After both the trays were finished, I needed a way to secure them together. And I found a thick dowel in the corner of the shop. It was a contrasting color, but the two-tone look worked really well for my design idea. I then used the drill to carefully make a center hole in both of the trays, and I also used a countersink bit on the bottom of the base tray and the top of the second tray. I also drilled a center hole in both ends of the dowel, and then I connected the dowel with a one and a quarter inch screw on both ends. The visible top screw may not look pretty, but it'll be covered up with display items. Also, this is a gift, and I wanted the new owner to have the option of replacing the dowel if it ever broke, or they wanted a different color. And it's done! That's a wrap! Thanks for stopping by the Little Wood House. I hope you enjoyed making this walnut tier tray with us. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can keep watching all of our videos.